Hey guys, this is Kathy at Fabric Bash. Want to talk about long arming and wonky borders. I have an extreme example here, but I'm going to talk about how and why it is important that you put your borders on correctly. And then we're going to move over to the sewing machine. I'm going to talk about easing in borders and how to do some of that. So let's talk about this quilt that's on my long arm right now. So what happens when we have things that need to line up because I have my registration line. I'm trying to line up as much as possible these lines here. You can see what's happening here is we have all of this fullness. Like I told you, this is an extreme situation. My quilter is the most beautiful lady on the planet. She is very um, up there in years and trying to work very quickly through her stash. But what she did is she pieced her piecing here and it's a little bit off. But I think what she did is she added her border and then put another piece and added the border instead of measuring and calculating and figuring out what the border should be. She just kind of sewed it on and kept on going. And as you get going, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So um, we're at a, at a stopping point on this one. So let's go back to the machine and let's talk about how to do borders correctly. Okay guys, so we're gonna pretend that this is our quilt top and now we're gonna add the borders to it. So um, what you need to do is you're gonna need to measure your left side, your center, and your right side. And you're gonna add those together, divide by three, and that's gonna get your measurement that you need for your border. Now the reason this is important is again, because when we piece, it gets a little bit, our piecing is not so accurate sometimes, gets a little bit off. When you start out, usually in the middle, it's some of the most tight, and as you get towards the end, it gets a little bit more wonky. So this here, I know, is 15 inches, but when I did our measurements, we were at 15 and a half. So now how am I gonna put this piece onto here to make sure that we're gonna be equal, right? So I like to, find my center point. I'm going to crease it with my finger. And then I'm going to put a pin mark right in that center point. And then I am going to, on a bigger piece for sure, I am going to find my quarter of an inch and I would mark that as well. And if I needed to do another one, I'd find the middle in between each of these and mark that. So I'd find my beautiful increments that are gonna help me work through all of this. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing to my quilt top. I'm gonna make sure I find the middle. I like to fold it in half and hopefully it's wonderful and great if it's a seam. That's even the best. But I'm gonna put my little pin in here to mark. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my border, I'm going to line up these pins right here, straight right on top of each other. And we're going to take one of these out and I'm going to put them through all of the layers. All right, so we got that there. You can see it's a little bit big on this side, but I'm gonna match up my ends. And I'm gonna match up my other end over here. I would put as many pins as I feel I need to be comfortable as I'm going down. And then we're gonna ease in between each one of these pins. So you can see I have some fullness here so what that does is it takes that fullness that I need to have to square this back up, and now I need to ease this in, and then I can ease in this little bit right here. So one of the greatest tools is this by Annie Stiletto. And there's other stilettos that are out there, but I really like this one because it also has, if I needed to press, I got this side to help press, and then this to help um, push my fabric through. Now again, this is a very slow, slow process. This is, I'm not gonna be going fast. 
and we're gonna make sure we go um, pretty slow here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my leader, because I like to start off with a leader here when I'm sewing. And I'm gonna turn down my speed, because I wanna go nice and slow. It's a good speed for me to go, because this is gonna take some time, and I'm gonna hit the stop button quite a bit. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna line this up. I'm gonna go nice and slow here. Okay, for demo purposes, I am not on a quarter of an inch. This is dem demonstration. I moved the machine and we're on the full edge over here, but we're gonna still be okay because this is just a demonstration. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna slowly start moving this here to ease in this fabric. Sometimes I even lift up my foot right here and I'm gonna move this here just a little bit past. Make sure I'm still lined up on my edges. And you can see some of my fullness is going away that was right here. So hopefully by the time I get to my pin, I'm gonna be perfect. And as you can see right now, I don't. I got rid of some of that fullness right up there. I'm just gonna go a little bit farther here. Again, this is a process. You're gonna take your time, move slow. As I get towards this next pen, I like to keep my fingers down on top of the fabric. I never ever go over pins, so I'm gonna put take that out. Now I can start seeing that I have a little bit more fullness again because we're heading towards that other pin. And this is a slow, slow process. I don't want any creases. That's the whole idea, no creases, right? That would be sad. <laughs> I would definitely be ripping out. But if we do it a little bit by little bit, we can ease in this fabric and all of this fullness. a little bit more here that I need to ease in. The reason I like this stiletto is I can help get under this hopping foot a little bit, but I don't want to get close to my needle again because that would be sad. The whole idea is to stay away from the needle. I don't want any broken needles. Now you can see that I have all of that fullness out. Coming up on that. Pin, no going over pins. All right, let's turn this over and we can see how that looks. That doesn't look too bad, does it? So if I go ahead and I'm gonna I eased in a half an inch on this. So remember when it comes to borders, do your three measurements, one on the left side, one in the middle, one on the right side, add those together, divide by three, 
and then cut your border. Do not cut your borders ahead of time, what the pattern says, because you're gonna sew just a little bit different than what the uh, pattern calls for maybe potentially. And we wanna make sure that um, you get the exact amount. And then what you're gonna do is when we move forward here, you're going to get that measurement that you got your side measurements. And then I'm gonna take this here, once I got the two sides on, I would take a measurement on my left, on the top basically, the middle and the bottom, and then get that measurement and work that way. Take your time. We don't like to see wavy borders on the long arm. Um, I always am happy and delightful when I don't, but my customer today is the most amazing lady and we're gonna make this work. Um, she has given us five quilts. It's gonna be fabulous when we get done. I'm gonna line stuff up and we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna have to put a crease in this one where we're gonna make sure we spend some time and make it look the best possible. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, give a thumbs up, write a comment, share. Have an awesome day most of all.